Last night, we failed them. We failed to invest in their safety. We failed to make their safety a priority. And it's not just our trains, Mr. Chairman. It is our bridges that are failing. It is our highways that are congested and riddled with potholes. It is our runways, our airports. It is our broadband in rural areas and suburban areas and urban areas. What we should have been doing is subsidizing the safety of those passengers on that Amtrak play, uh, train yesterday. And so this is just a matter of simple priorities. I was disappointed to hear my colleague from New York a few minutes ago talk about the tragedy that occurred with Amtrak and suggest that because we had not funded this properly, that that's what caused the accident. When you have no idea, no idea what caused this accident, and to use that as a means of supporting the last amendment, support it if you want to. But don't use this tragedy in that way. It was beneath you. So which one was using it, actually? That was the heated exchange between Congressman Steve Israel of New York and Mike Simpson of Idaho yesterday after the House Appropriations Committee voted to cut federal funding for Amtrak a mere 12 hours after the derailment. Joining us now, Nash National editor at Time Magazine, Nation editor at Time Magazine, Ben Goldberger. Hi, mm -hmm. Ben. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Thank you. He oversaw the report in the new issue of Time titled Off the Rails. And from Capitol Hill, former Secretary of Transportation Ray LaHood joins us. Ray, let's start with you. Uh, curious timing for our party uh, to cut Amtrak funding 12 hours after the derailment. What, what, what's your take? My take is this is a very, very sad week for, uh, for transportation, for the the families that lost loved ones, for the people that were injured, but also for uh, the fact that there is no leadership uh, on Capitol Hill, there is no uh, courage on Capitol Hill. Um, the transportation bill expires in a few days, the highway trust fund is broke, uh, America is one big pothole, our infrastructure is crumbling. Investment in infrastructure is investment in the American people, the people that build the roads and bridges. It's an investment in Americans, and uh, it, it helps our economy. Um, investing in infrastructure is a win-win, and people here uh, behind me on Capitol Hill simply don't get it. Ray, I, uh, um, we, we, you know, we didn't always agree in the Republican Party. I was, you know. You thought I was a member of the lunatic fringe on the far right, well. uh, and perhaps I, I was. I proudly, proudly still uh, red cla hot. claim to be a red hot. Um, but at the same time, I, you know, when I talk to Republican groups, very conservative people, and I say, we need to invest in infrastructure. The Chinese are doing it. Our enemies are doing it. Our rivals are doing it. We need to do it. It's investment. I've just never had anybody stand up. I don't care how right wing they are, and say hell no. I think most Americans agree with that. I, where's the they, disconnect? They, they do, Joe, because uh, the investment is in our friends and neighbors. It's in uh, the people who build the roads. It's in the people who take care of the roads. When somebody sees a pothole being filled, they know their tax dollars are being well spent. Uh, and uh, we, we've always been a country that's invested in infra infrastructure. When we've done that, uh, we've had a strong uh, economy, and when we haven't done it, uh, the largest segment of unemployment right now in America is in the building trades, people who build roads and bridges. This money doesn't stay in Washington. It goes back to America. It goes back to the states. Uh, and infrastructure creates economic development and economic a opportunity. Uh, and uh, I, I, I simply think that um, Republicans are, are short-sighted, have a blind spot, and uh, in countries where they've invested in rail, in China, in Japan, in Europe, uh, they have a great transportation system. We haven't done that.